Good day everyone. In this video today, I will show you how to send a large PowerPoint file through email. So to do this, firstly, as you can see right here, here is the PowerPoint document, which is the name I used to save the document. So let's click, right click on it to see the properties. So right here, as you can see, the PowerPoint document as the size of 33.1 megabytes so which means is more than the 25 megabytes gmail usually attached so let me close this so the next thing for you to do when you have the powerpoint document the next thing for you to do to do is to open any browser on your pc so i'll be using the chrome browser so right here as you can see here is the chrome here is the chrome browser and i've logged into my gmail account i'll be using this i'll be using gmail for this tutorial so right here as you can see here is the gmail account the next thing for you to do is to log into the gmail account which i've logged into this one if you don't know how to log into your gmail account you can check other youtube videos on how to log into the gmail account so the next thing for you to do is to click on compose then this box will pop up so when this box pop up if you want to attach this document attach file then we click on desktop because the document is located on desktop so I can then scroll down and select the document, which is um, PowerPoint document, as you can see. So click on open. So right now, as you can see, large file must be shared with Google Drive. Attachment larger than 25 megabytes will be automatically uploaded to Google Drive. The document link will be included in your email. So I got it. So as you can see right now, the attachment file is uploading to the email so let's give it time for it to upload so right now as you can see it has start uploading so let's give it time So right now, as you can see, the PDF file has been attached to this email. The next thing for you to do is to go to the recipient and enter the email address you want to send this document to. So when done, you can then enter the subject of the email. Then when done, you can add a description to it if you want. So when done, you can then click on the send button. Then to bring out a dialog box for you, let's click on the send. As you can see right here, here is the email I'm sending this powerpoint document too so are you sharing this if you want to share this document with just this person which is the email address you can click on share with one person so the person can view it or comment or edit on it you can select any one of these so when done at this one which is the second button right here which is turn link sharing on if you want this document to be shared with multiple people more than any more, more than one person which will be more than one person you can then click on this turn link sharing so when you click on this turn link sharing it will be shared to anybody you wish to share this document to and anybody 
the, the contact you are sending this email to wish to send this document to. So you can select any one of the two right here. So when done, you can then click on send. So right here, changing drive permission, which is sending, as you can see, sending, then message sent. So that's how to do this. Hope this video helped. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.